Okay, the first step in uh, making a solar panel is to tie some of these uh, solar cells together. And I'm going to try showing you how I do this. Um, okay, this is the this is the solar cell. Uh, first thing, uh, some of them come tabbed like this, where this wire is already on there. If you get ones that aren't tabbed, you got to do that first. Okay, once that's done, uh, you basically got to run these in a string to get your voltage up to where you want to be. Um, you got to be very careful with these because they're, they're, they can break very easily. Um, I use it, I just do it on the glass that I'm going to eventually put it on. And I just use these uh, soup cans to, to hold things down. Um, and I get them in place, kind of bend these over. Them where they're supposed to be. Now, when you're figuring out how many you need uh, for a 12 volt panel, you actually make a lot more than 12 volts. Um, I run 36 of these into one panel. Um, open current or open voltage ends up being above 20 with that many cells. And that gives you enough power to charge a, a 12 volt battery once you put the load on and, and whatnot. Uh, oh, first of all, uh, you use this little flux pin here. As what we're doing is we're trying to solder it down to this little tab. So I put a little bit of flux on those. Um, I got to do that, I usually do it before I bend that down. Uh, and now, I don't use a lot of solder when I do this. I have my solder here. Uh, I just cleaned this iron off, so I put a little bit on there. I don't need much. Get this out of the road. And I just use this edge of the glass, and I put those right tight against each other, and I just run them right down. Uh, I kind of hold this down with my finger. Now, it can get hot, so I use this iron to push it down. I, you, I just go right across this and it gets hot, solders it to that, and then I go past a little bit just to hold it down. Uh, if I take it right off, it can, it can spring up before it's soldered down. Now there's solder on this, uh, on this wire, so I really don't need any solder. That's it. You just do that to both sides. Um, make sure you get that good. Okay, that one's on there. Check it to make sure it's tight. It's good. Um, then I just get the next one out. Make sure all the tabs are on there good. Bend it up a little bit. Just lay it down. Right along there. I try not to touch the front of that. I try to do the sides as much as I can. Uh, don't want to get my fingerprints on it. You can wash them off, but uh, it's a pain to wash these or do anything with these little panel, these little cells, because you can break them so easily. I broke a, a lot of them. Okay, so I just get that lined out to where it needs to be. Put my can on this one. The first one's the biggest trick because uh, there's not enough room really to to put the can on each one and whatnot. I basically just use this solder to keep my tip tinned. Which I need to clean this tip off. It's not in very good shape. Uh, just hold that down. That's all there is to it. Do both sides. Oops. Now, uh, you don't always have to use this uh, flux, but as you can see, it wasn't sticking very good right there. And I forgot to do this flux again. This one, 
as you can see it stuck just fine with that and that one stuck fine uh, sometimes you don't need it sometimes you do there's flux in this this uh, solder that I used so that helps a little bit oh, there's definitely nothing wrong with using it more flux helps it stick so if you're having problems with it not sticking that could be the problem okay there's another one done um, so I like to put this on before I even do that other cell kind of got out of my pattern that I'm recording this so I usually will put that down now we're going right along uh, get another cell Bend those up. Push those down. And I usually put a little bit more solder on each 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 one of these I do just because it uh, keeps that tip better. I actually still need to clean that tip off. Sometimes they slide like that. You gotta be a little bit careful. Once I get a, once I get more of these done, actually after this one, I'm gonna put a soup can right here so the whole thing kind of stays straight. I, I like to use that weight just so you don't have things sliding around. Now you don't want to leave this on a spot too long. You don't want to get that cell too hot. You can actually melt the solder on the other side. And you don't want that happening. The solder, the solder on the, the tab side, you can loosen those up. So you don't want to get, because they're right behind it, you don't want to get those too hot. So now I'm going to leave that can there. And basically just keep doing the same thing. Put my uh, flux on there. Um, now what I'll do is I'll do, uh, for, for this panel, you got to figure out the size of yours. This one I have four rows of nine. So I'll have nine of these cells in each row. And I'm not going to record all of this, but uh, you'll just keep going, finish this row. And I just slide it down, do the next one. I actually flip it around so that these, uh, so the next row I'll actually do it with them this way. So I'll start on this end just because it's easier for me to flip it that way. So I'll start here and go that way because uh, when you're tying these together, this, this side that's on the front, that's actually negative and the back is positive. And so as you go along, you're going to want to tie that. You're actually going to run a bus wire over and tie that to those other two and go up and you want them to be, go from uh, either negative to positive or positive to negative, whichever way you got it. This, this case, we're going to go from positive to negative. And uh, I'll do a video showing you how I do that. Um, when I get these done. But anyway, that's the first step in making a solar panel. Oh, uh, sometimes I don't actually even solder them all together at first. Uh, here's this one I'm trying out. If you, as you notice, they're not even soldered yet. And this is what I did is these, these are glued down. Uh, Use some clear uh, glue, glued them down, and now I'm going to I'm going to do all of these. I actually use the tape just to show where to glue them so they end up in the right spot. Once they're glued down, I'm going to solder them together and see how that works. But uh, for most cases, you uh, you do it this way and uh, and solder them all together first and uh, then glue them in or encapsulate them, however you're going to do that. And uh, anyway, I'll do some more videos later. Uh, see you later.